I did some checking on forums online and the general consensus seems to be that I should have already roughed it out. Um, cedar is good to rough out when it's green, so it's only been up there for a couple of days. I've got a little time today. I'm going to go ahead and rough out the shape of the bow. Well, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I should just cut my losses and abandon the project. As I was trying to bring the belly down to a thickness that I could start tillering, I kept running into knots coming off perpendicular to the belly. I'm going to go ahead 
file in some string knocks, throw a tillering string on it and see what happens. <laughs> feel like I should have a football helmet on. Pretty sure it's going to explode. It's fixable, it's just going to be, you know, like a 20 pound bow by the time I'm done with it. We're going to call that a fail. I really want a bow out of cedar. Um, I guess if I was going to use a sapling like that again, then I wouldn't, you know, try to make this kind of a flat bow out of it. I would just go ahead and make a bend through the handle D-shaped bow like everybody has success with. Um, I have this maple board and it actually has a pretty good grain. So this is going to be my next attempt at building a flat bow. Stick around. Couldn't force myself to give up on it altogether, so I cut, so I cut the limbs down, I reprofiled them, I cut the handle down, and uh, we're going to try to get a little bendy handle D-bow out of it. Handle's way too stiff. Maybe. never tried to build anything like that before so I have no idea how it's going to turn out or what it's going to be like. I'm going to clamp this thing to the bench and then stuff a couple of blocks under each tip and uh, maybe after it sits there for a while it will keep some of that reflex.
I go to Menards and sort through the boards all the time and I've only ever found a couple that looked like I could get a bow out of them. Um, this one appears to be one of those. I laid the bow out on one of the square sides mostly because um, that was like a three inch board and towards the other end, the one I didn't use as a square, the grain fell off really sharp so this is going to get a backing and this maple board I'm going to attempt to turn into that 60 inch flat bow that I want and I have a good reason for wanting it so if this one doesn't work out uh, you'll be seeing me make another laminated longbow because I've had a lot more success with that get as far as I wanted to on either one of these. The sinew that I ordered for this cedar short bow um, and the rawhide that I ordered for that maple flat bow won't be here until next week. Um, I guess I wasn't quite prepared. But we're going on a vacation to Key West next week so these are just going to have to sit here until I get back. So, um, I don't know if either one of these is going to turn into a bow or not. I'll probably take the camera along on our vacation. I don't know how much filming I'm, I would do. Uh, maybe I'll make a short video out of it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. At any rate, um, thanks for watching. We'll see you when I get back.